the fact that he has anoxic encephalopathy or brain damage caused by the lack of oxygen to the brain, we don't know what the root cause of that is. There's a couple of ways that you can get that. So you either have to discontinue blood flow to the brain or stop breathing. And what caused either one of those possible events, we wouldn't know. I mean, could that have been torture at the time? We, we don't know. We don't have enough information about what happened to Otto uh, at that initial insult to draw any concrete conclusions. We believe that for somebody who's been bedridden for more than a year, that his uh, body was in uh, excellent condition, his skin was in excellent condition, and we didn't see any evidence of decubiti or bed sores. Um, and uh, physically, as far as wounds, there were a few small scars that we documented. Uh, there was one that we really couldn't explain for medical uh, instrumentation, which some of the other scars we could. Uh, but there wasn't anything on the external examination to indicate um, other than that one scar that we couldn't explain to indicate torture. So we didn't see any evidence of healing fractures or healed fractures um, that would have been within that time frame if that was one of the things that was asked is, you know, did he have any broken bones and so forth. Not, not, to, our, not to our knowledge, not that we've been able to observe or document by medical imaging. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.